better run, man. Life's a pain, but you got me. Yeah, life's a pain, but I got you. Hey again, Parasites. What's up? This is Seek. I'm here with another episode of the Venom Vlog for you. We're going to talk about Edge of Venomverse Unlimited, issues one and two which are available on Marvel Unlimited right now. It's a digital comic service that you can get. You pay a monthly fee and they run promotions all the time. Sometimes you can get like three months for $5 a month. And basically as comic books come out, once they're about three, four or five months old, they get uploaded onto this website and you can read them at your disposal, which is really cool. So if you're out there and you like comics, but you're on a budget like I am, this is a cool service to have so you can keep up with books. You might be a few months behind, but at least you're keeping up with stories and you're reading them, you know, as they come out on the app. And that's what, uh, but they also have exclusive stories like this, Edge of Venomverse Unlimited, which is coming out as, you know, right now. Like it's coming out during the summer of Symbiotes and they're all new stories and they're exclusive to this app. So they won't reprint them or put them anywhere else. They're only here on this app. So this one is a new series because obviously we're getting into the Summer of Symbiotes. We're going to get back into the Venomverse. Extreme Venomverse is a comic book that's coming out right now. And I think two or three issues have already come out and I will cover them after the fourth issue comes out. We'll do like a week where I cover all the issues and we'll get through them. Uh, but for this one, I wanted to set up the Venomverse. Now that we're back in the Venomverse, what does that mean? And I thought this story here is a great introduction of what we're going to, you know, what we can expect moving forward through the Extreme Venomverse miniseries, which many of you have already read, but as we get into the Death of Venomverse, which comes out in August. So in this one, we have our friend Clay McLeod Chapman, who wrote the Scream book, uh, who did an amazing job on that. And, uh, you know, all, we were always wanting him to come back to the world of symbiotes and do something, you know, with this new uh, writing and creative team on the book. We were hoping he'd come back in some way, and he has on this exclusive digital comic book, Edge of Venomverse Unlimited, issues one and two. There is three, there's other issues coming out. They're all little short stories, but these first two issues are of part one and part two. So I thought this would be perfect to talk about and set up our re-entry into the Venomverse, because obviously we just went into the Venomverse with stories that we created, you Parasites and myself, and our friends, you know, PJ and Adrian, but obviously we want to get back into the comic book Venomverse as well, and that's what we're doing today. So Edge of Venomverse Unlimited, follows the story of a girl named Charlotte. And so the story starts off and you're on you know, Earth 888, I believe, and you have this priest showing up with a nun and they're going to this farmhouse in the, in the middle of winter, it's snowing out, and they're going to talk to the parents and they're like, all right, show us where your daughter is. And it's pretty much an exorcist story. You know, like you have this family who believes a demon is inside their daughter and they've chained her up in the barn. And now this priest is coming in and he's going to like release the demon, you know, send it back to hell or whatever. But as he's sprinkling holy water on it and everything and, and hitting her with holy water and putting the cross on her, although on their earth, they have like a serpent, you know, instead of a cross. Uh, so I think they're worshiping uh, the devil, maybe uh, on some level. So um, so it's a little different to how this world works. But uh, the premise is the same. It's kind of an exorcism and the priest can't get the demon out. And it's because it's not a demon. Obviously, it's a symbiote. And it reveals itself through this girl, Charlotte, and she fights back against the priest. And then the priest fights back with fire, trying to kill her. She grows these extra arms. She looks really cool and weird. She looks like a total movie monster. And I think that's what I like about Clay McCloud Chapman is that he is embracing the horror stuff. I think the third book is going to have something like the movie The Thing, where there's like a severed venom head running around or something. So he's got a lot of, you know, wild, awesome horror ideas that he's pulling from. And this one looks really neat. Uh, this one reminded me with the multi-arms, like that creature from Evil Within, which I really liked that game a lot. So uh, so seeing this was neat. Uh, you have this multi-arm venom attacking this priest and the priest fighting back with fire. And you have the nun trying to stop the priest and then the battle ensuing and the barn burning down and then her having to escape, you know, to, to be free and to be safe. So she gets out of the chains and she gets out of the barn as it burns down, leaving the priest and the nun and everybody behind. But there is kind of a twist because they reveal one of the people in the barn is not who they said they were. And you get to see them at the end of the story as well. And, uh, and that kind of sets up the Venomverse storyline that we're going to get. But this series, I thought it was fun and I didn't want to spoil the ending. So I encourage you, if you have the Marvel app, go read it. If you don't, Consider checking it out if you follow, you know, Marvel on Instagram and stuff. Sometimes they'll give out digital codes that you can put in and you can get like, like I said, two months or three months of this service for $5 a month. That's pretty good because I think it's somewhere around like eight to $15 a month. I can't remember. It's like somewhere in there, but you can get all these kind of deals that just make it way more affordable and just, you know, way more easier on you and get, you know, more bang for your buck. So if you can get one of those deals, like every time a movie comes out, I bet you when, um, 
you know, the next season of Loki comes out or if, uh, you know, the Marvels, when that movie comes out, keep an eye out on social media. You'll see, you know, updates and stuff and they'll give out codes. But don't sit on this either. If you're a Venom fan, go read this book. I thought Clay did an amazing job on this one. So please go check it out. And the artwork by Philip Sevy, he does a great job. I thought the horror aspect was really good. I thought, you know, the, the colorist, everyone who worked on this, Andre Massa, I think is a colorist, like, Everyone who worked on this did a really good job. It's really cool. And the way these digital books read, where you're just scrolling through your phone, you know, like top to bottom, um, is really awesome. So it's just one long panel, essentially, that's just going down. And it's broken up sometimes by little panels. But as you're scrolling down, just reading the story, like almost like a scroll in a way, uh, it's really cool. So I highly recommend you checking this out and getting the Marvel app. It's very awesome. And I think it's worth it. I got it at a deal, but now I'm paying full price for it. And I still think it's worth it, the amount of stuff I'm reading on there. Uh, stuff that isn't Venom related, uh, but a lot of stuff that is. Some stuff that I've completely missed that we'll talk about on the show coming up for sure. So thank you so much for watching the show. If you have read this, let me know what you think down below. And if you haven't, go get on it and then come back here and leave your thoughts down below. And we'll keep talking down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in the Venomverse. Peace.